Hello everyone! Today we're playing on my survival server here. A friend of mine wanted me to do some videos about this, so I guess I will do that. Right now we're standing in spawn here, on our spawn platform, with a couple of temporary chests here. There's nothing very useful in here, just a couple of diamonds and slime blocks maybe. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is the hole we have here. This is our spawn chunks exactly. If I press H and V, you can see the outlines. The red outlines is the outer spawn chunks. And as you can see, we blew up exactly to the spawn chunks here. Um, yeah, this is the lazy chunks. If I press F3 and G, you can see this. This is a vanilla feature, by the way, if you didn't know that. So you can see the two chunks here, or the lazy chunks, that aren't entity processing. And everything inside of here is entity processing. And the H and V thing, so I can see everything, that's min uh, from a mod called Minihad by Masa. So, for this giant hole here, we're gonna make some really good looking walls. And also a randomized floor pattern. It's for the floor pattern that we need these emeralds I got in my hotbar. This is actually not even 1% of what we need. We need 10,000 emerald blocks, actually. Because we thought that was a good idea. Because for the randomized floor pattern, we need about 10,000. So that's what we need to do today. We need to make a village trading area. And I decided we should do that in the end, because it's safe there, no zombies, and it's also easier to work. So, I'm heading there right now. Oh. That's a lot of eggs. Alright, now we are in the end. And as you see here, this is uh, almost 4 full towers, 20 high of chulkers. So what, yeah, the reason we got chulkers here is because, uh, as you might have seen, there's not a single enderman around here. Not a single one, and but that's because chulkers, they add to the mob cap, but they do not despawn no matter how far away you go. So me and another player on the server has been collecting these, and right now we got 73 of them, so that's enough for one entire mob cap. Because the mob cap for one player is 70, this is enough to remove all the endermen from one player. But this will actually get moved into the overworld, into our spawn once that's built, and we will make it fit in on the walls there, because it needs to be in the lazy chunks in spawn. We're going to make about... Uh, 10 mob caps worth of shulkers in spawn, so we will need 700 shulkers then. So that's gonna take quite a while because they are not the easiest thing to collect. But that's enough here, let's get to the villager trading area. Alright, now we are on the end platform where we will build our villager breeder. But as you can see, there are endermen spawning, and that's because uh, the shulkers I just showed you they are not loaded when no one is close to them. So, unless they're in the spawn chunks in the overworld or if they are getting chunk loaded, they do not. Uh, Contribute to the mob cap and the enderman will spawn anyways So I got this shulker here of sea lanterns Let's take a couple of stacks and I will light this up and then we will start working Alright, now I've lit everything up here, and I'm just flying up in the air far away to despawn all of the endermen over here. And sweet, not a single enderman here now. Uh, during the short time lapse that was there, uh, you might have seen that I, there's some numbers on the floor, and they correspond to the light level on the block. So if I stand on this 12 here, and I open F3, you can see here it says light 12, and 12 here, that means it's 12 light level here. And yeah, that's how I can see. If it's red, mobs can spawn, basically. So it's very useful. Uh, Alright, so over here you can see I've already started a little bit yesterday. Uh, this is just a quick design I made to sort out baby villagers and adults. 
So the baby villagers, they will drop down here into the water. They swim down here and just uh, get stuck together. And when they grow up, their head is above this trapdoor and they touch the water just a little bit. But it's that little bit is enough to pull them up because they swim up with some water. So they go up in this water and they get uh, pushed along here until they get into a little tube here where we'll get them and choose if we want to kill them or keep them. So what we gotta do now is build a villager breeder. I think I'm gonna go with a uh, design Nembon made a while ago. That should work. Uh, yeah, that wasn't the best flying. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll see you in a second. Alright, that's the villager breeder built now. Um, I don't think you saw everything of it, because halfway through the montage edit, whatever I did, uh, the replay mode failed. Or it didn't fail, I like, guess I failed, because I have no idea how to use it. But it kept on crashing and being annoying, so that'll do. So, as you see here, there's carpets that are on top of iron bars. And on top of those carpets, the villagers stand. Over there, there's four pairs already and they're making babies over here uh, so what's happening here is uh, these dispensers they will have carrots in them normal carrots or potatoes or wheat and a minecart will just go around here activating these constantly to shoot some food down here and then these guys pick it up and then they can breed because of the villager up here and this villager is enough when it's up like this they start breeding but they don't have any food right now so I can turn it off so now they can't breed. Mm, this is Nembon's design. I can link a video to this in the description where he explains how this works. I'm not too sure about villager mechanics and everything, so yeah, you gotta listen to him for that. Well, so this works at least. We got a couple of babies. But now the next thing I want to do. Oh, wait, what's happened here? What? Okay, well. Okay. Next thing I want to do is get this farmer, shepherd, and place him in a cage forever to form some carrots for me. Yep. So we're going to build up a carrot farm, a fully automatic carrot farm on the other side over there. So it's not uh, nearby this and doesn't intersect with the villager radius. I can enable it with F7. Here you can see. We don't want the, the villi this villager, when it's over there, to intersect with this big ball. And this big ball is like the villager radius. If the, the, the radius of that guy touches when it's over there, it will intersect and this guy will try to walk over here constantly and the farm won't work. And then that carrot farm over there will lead all the way over here and feed these villagers. It's like an infinite loop. And of course we're gonna make it many more than one farmer, so it's gonna be like at least 10 floors high of farming. But we're gonna start with one so we can breed. And I think this is a baby farmer as well. Yeah, you're gonna grow up to farm. Alright, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back soon. Alright, so I decided to use uh, grey concrete, light grey even, for the uh, farm that we're gonna build over there. But we're gonna start all the way down at like Y10 and we're at 59 now. So. I was thinking either I should use uh, Tweakaroos mod where I can place like this to get down to build downwards but I figured that I might as well use a lava bucket over here pour that down and then make a pillar with uh, I like that I just wait a while until it's all the way down and we can pour water on it and it will transform into cobblestone should at least I hope so we're just gonna have to wait here for a while. Alright, so I placed the lava here, it's all the way down. And I also placed the water here, but I guess I was wrong because 
Nothing's happening. So maybe it was when I'm removing the lava. The lava is supposed to be second. I don't quite remember. What if I do it on this side? Is this gonna spread out? Let's see here. No, oh. No, okay, what if I place it here? That feels like that'll do it. What? What the hell? What if I place this one closer? I feel like that's gonna break though instantly. Well, let's wait until the water disappears and we'll try it. I think it's far enough down and we can place this without worrying. So let's see what happens here. What? Are you serious? Still doesn't do anything? What if we remove this now? Maybe? What the hell? Oh, does the water just remove that now? Okay. What if I place lava here now? Like that? Is it gonna catch up to the water maybe? Oh! There we go! I don't know what I did, but I did it. Oh no, not this water is gonna catch up to that water though. This isn't gonna be good. I? Oh. No, this isn't good. God damn it! Am I gonna do this manually? Okay, I'll just wait this away again. I think we're ready to try this again now. So here the water needs to be right. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, do I need to wait for all the random ticks? Right. Why am I doing this? I should just place the blocks. But no, now we got this here. Not gonna redo it. So I'm just gonna wait for half an hour here, I guess, for all that to go the way down. So I'll see you in when that's done. Alright, I removed the water and the lava. I'm just waiting for it all to disappear, and the water is obviously much faster than the lava. I did place a couple of iron blocks down there so we can start building, so we can remove this now. Just gotta go all the way down, and the lava should not spread towards me, I hope. Okay, I'm fine. Good, good. Right? Yeah. I'm not getting covered by lava. Thank god. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'll destroy these as well. I'll leave the last block. That's the last one, yeah, and the lava is like half a year left. Nice. Okay, gotta get some of the concrete now. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, checking my elytra to make sure it's not breaking soon, because this is kind of risky. There we go. Alright. This is far enough from there, yeah. Mm. Let's see, are we in... where is the middle? Oh, no. Uh -huh. The middle, right here. Oh, I was cr thought I was crouching. This is the middle, okay. Because we want to do it in the middle, just to be precise. Alright, now I can remove this. Okay, um, let's see now, this needs to be very far across, let's just make the floor here first. Actually, I am going to uh, build the first one up and I will come back after that and I'll just show you. And then I'll build a couple more of, more of them up after the episode, because I think this is the last thing we're going to do for this episode. Um, yeah, and maybe this lava will be gone by then. So I gotta find a schematic of it and I gotta build it, because I do not remember how to do it. So, I'll see you in a second.
Alright, now we have built the first and the second layer of this carrot farm. Because this is going to be a carrot farm all the way up to... I don't know how high. Hopefully build limit, but I don't know if I can do that high without going insane. Oh, there's you see some carrots going. They just farm the carrots, throw it in the water. They get launched up there. Can fly over here. You can see the autumn elevator, she's taking them up in the glass. They're shopping up over here, landing in the water. Going to the minecart, the minecart pulls them into the droppers and the droppers give them to the villagers. I put in quite a few villagers. I think there's like 16 pairs here right now. And they breed pretty fast. As you see here, we have, let's check like this. We have about 20 villagers here. Although I might have gotten some carrots with in the F3 there. So about 20 villagers here. Uh, let's see, any good trades? No, cartographer, barbarian, respiration. Weaponsmith. Cartog okay, yeah, well, no good trades for now. But we got a lot of villagers, so it won't take long until we get some good trades. But yeah, that's it for this episode now. So, in next episode, we will probably either continue building this, or I will make the trading hall here. Because we really need a trading hall for mending, because we don't want to die and lose our mending elytrate and stuff. Because that would be very annoying, or mending tools. So I will do that next episode. Thank you for watching this episode and goodbye.